Before you attempt to duplicate what I'm going to show you in the following video, you need to make sure that your data is backed up so that if you mess up and you lose your data, you can get it back. I do backups, you should too. And now for the video. Okay, Yo, Soy Bimba Bob here. Um, one of the things that's really nice about the Minecraft launcher is no matter what version of Minecraft you're starting from the launcher, um, 192, 193, all your worlds show up between all the different versions. But one of the bad things about the launcher is it's hard to run mods. And so you do something like you use like a multi-MC or a multi-MC derivative like I use Prism Launcher. But the issue that you run into when you do that is that the worlds are basically served, um, stored per instance that you have in your prison launcher. Um, and so I really like all my worlds being in one place. Um, that way I don't accidentally lose them when I delete an instance from multi-MC or prison launcher. And I would like to have that feature over in prison launcher and can you do that? And the answer is yes, you can. So, um, how exactly do you go about doing that? So, so first thing that you need to do is you need to identify a common place to stick all your worlds. I'm just going to stick them in the default place that Minecraft launcher sticks them. And so where you get that is you need to go to your home directory. Um, the way that Mac OS defaults to, it actually doesn't show that. So the way to get around that. You go to Finder Settings, you go to si Sidebar, and you turn on um, your user so you can see it. So now we're in this user. Um, but this is really not where you need to go. What you really need to do is you want to go to your library um, that's sitting under your user, and that's hidden. And so there are a couple of ways to show hidden files. You can do Command Period, and your hidden stuff will show up. Command shift period, and you see the library now shows up. Um, and you can go into that way. Or the other way to do it is under this go memory menu, um, you see that the library is showing up. But if I turn off this option and I look under go, it's not there. But if I press option, it shows up and you can go there that way. So then you don't need to leave hidden files on all the time. So the thing that we're looking for is we're looking for application support. We're looking for Minecraft. And the thing we care about is the saves directory, which is sitting right here. All right. So you can go to one of your Minecraft instances and you can edit it. You can show worlds. You can view the folder in worlds. And there we have that world. But say we don't want to um, lose that world. So we just simply drag that world over to saves. It's in saves now. And we can pop up a directory. And then we can delete this saves directory. Now in Mac OS, there is a way to create an alias. You right click on a thing and you say make alias. And you would think that you could drag this thing over and then change the name to saves. And this would work. But what you discover when you start it is this in fact does not work. And what's going to happen is um, it's going to try to start Minecraft and it will eventually crash. You know, it crashes, it's going to pop the log up. And if you scan back and you see what the initial problem was, what it basically is saying is, hey, I could not find this thing called saves. What's going on here? Well, if we bring up um, the terminal, which is found in Applications Utilities, and we actually go to this location, where this dot minecraft is, and the way that you can do that is you type cd, which means change directory, and you drag this guy over here. You can type it manually if you want to, but it's easier just to drag and drop. Then you do an ls-l, and here's that link. And as a, as a long time Unix user, this looks really weird. This is not what I would consider a link. It's actually a file. Um, it's not doing what we want, so let's delete that. Move that to trash. So, actually, kind of the way to do that 
is I'm going to do a link in Unix E's, and that's ln. Dash S stands for symbolic link. I want to save. I want to link this saves directory into the directory I'm at with that same name. And you can do that simply with a dot. And dot says, hey, create the symbolic link in the directory I'm in at the name of the thing I'm trying to link to. And when you do that, now if I do an ls-l, you see that this thing is very different. It starts with an L. When like before, it was just a file. It's showing saves, and then it's actually showing where it's linked to. Uh, and so this is very different from the OS point of view. So now, when I start up um, this guy, it's not going to crash this time. Woohoo, it started. And if I look in a single player worlds, you see the world that I dropped over plus the worlds that were already there. The worlds that were already there are, were done with a 1.19.3 version of um, Minecraft. And this is the 1.19.2 version that I did. And so that's how you do it. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, hey, yo soy, I'm on a Windows box. Can you do the same thing? And the answer is yes. And I will show you how to do that next. So here we are over in Windows. You can see we have the two versions of the launchers. We have multi-MC and we have Minecraft launcher that comes from Mojang. And we're going to do the same modification where we um, share all our worlds amongst our various instances of our multi-MC and with the Minecraft Java launcher also. So in order to do that, you need to find the place where Minecraft launcher stores its saves. Um, for me, the easiest way to do that is to um, Turn on hidden items. The thing we want is app data. In app data, you go to roaming. In roaming, you go to dot minecraft. And in dot minecraft, is your fave stuff. So for our multi MC, we're gonna, gonna show one of them, but you would do this to all of them. You edit the instance. You go to where your worlds are. You go to view folder, and there's a folder. And before we do anything more, we wanna copy this world over. We don't wanna lose it. So we copy this world over to this. Um, then we're going to pop up the directory, the dot Minecraft, and we are going to. We went too far. We're going to delete the saves, um, and now we're going to do a very similar thing. Um, you in Windows can do a very same thing, a very similar thing that you can do in Mac OS which is um, Windows allows you to create something that's called um, a shortcut. And so it has create shortcut. But what you'll discover is if you do that, move that shortcut over to here and rename it as saves, you have the exact same problem that you have on the Mac when you do that. Um, basically, Minecraft doesn't recognize it. So we need to do a similar thing where we create a virtual link um, using a command tool. And the command tool we need to use is PowerShell. And so I need to run PowerShell as an administrator. Um, so I'm going to run it as an administrator. I'm going to allow it to make changes. And then I'm going to cd to the directory that I want to go to. Um, I have this stuff stored in Minecraft, multi-MC, instances, 1.19.2 slash dot Minecraft. Um, and here we are, and we allow us, it'll show all the stuff that's there. Um, and then we're gonna run a command that does the same thing as a, a symbolic link in Unix. But because I'm not a big user of um, 
windows. I don't actually have this thing memorized, so I have it here where I can copy it. And I go to here. And I paste it in. Um, and I hit this return. And then I Alice again. And there's the saves. So an interesting thing that happens on the Windows side is you, oh, well, the saves did show up. But occasionally the save doesn't show up. And that, that's because it doesn't always update. And so don't be surprised if you don't see the saves in the window version of .minecraft. You also see that it has a very similar um, icon as on the Mac side for its symbolic ring. All right, so now when I start up this version of ARM, um, excuse me, of Minecraft, it's actually an ARM version, which is why it's labeled ARM. It's starting up. And in this, you see that I have all my word, worlds, including this world that I created. So, and this is a very interesting world because you spawn right beside a lava pool. Uh, like right here is where I spawn. It was very interesting. All right, that's it. Um, thank you for your time.